I really can't believe how fast these little babies grew. I mean, it seemed like just yesterday I found them, well, my brother-in-law found them and brought them over. If you remember, we incubated these baby turtles. They were just eggs and we weren't sure if they were turtle or snake eggs because they were kind of oval so they looked somewhat like snake eggs. And a lot of people don't like snakes so I said, hey, just bring them over. I'll take care of them and I'll put them back where they belong. If they're snakes, I won't bring them back to their place. Well, I haven't actually brought them back to their place just yet, but I am relocating these babies. For the first three months of their life, I wanted them to be safe and have plenty of nourishment and food to grow into a size that wouldn't be such a prey item for many species. I mean, a baby turtle the size of those would be prey to just about anything. Even a fish, a large fish, could easily subdue a turtle like that. A bird will easily find it. I wanted them to be able to swim agilely and I wanted them to be a little higher up on the food chain, you know, not like at the very bottom where they were when they were first born and they were super vulnerable. I knew how important this species was so it was my mission to incubate them and I was very thrilled to find out that all eight eggs incubated successfully and every single one of them looks completely healthy. But they're getting to a size now where they've outgrown this 32 gallon tank and it's really hard to keep up with all the messes they make. I mean I've cleaned this tank several times and it's just a constant battle for me. They needed a larger place they could grow a little bit more before I fully release them back to their home. Which if you're interested in incubating baby turtles the original video will help you out tremendously with that. But like I said in the original video the most important part is making sure that all these wild animals go back into the wild where they belong. You never know what role an animal like this can play in their small ecosystem. And having these babies return safely to their environment can help save our ecosystems. I've talked many times about the importance of small creatures like arthropods and bees and butterflies and pollinators in general. But in fact, if you look into the research like at the Yellowstone National Forest where they reintroduced the beavers and the wolves, you'll find that some of the most important ecosystem builders are the larger predatory animals. And these turtles fit the bill just perfectly. Now look, we've got all eight of them now in this little five gallon bucket. We need to take this bucket out to the pond we created right here on our property. Now this pond is designed to help attract a variety of different animals that are completely dependent on waterways, most notably amphibians. There's a beautiful spider I just let live right there on my porch. I figured I'd highlight that for you. But I've built two ponds here and mysteriously frogs have showed up. And at first I just remember seeing some southern toads and that was pretty exciting. You know, my first amphibians. My yard was like a desert with no water anywhere near, probably for over a mile that I can think of. And mysteriously, I started getting lots of green tree frogs and I actually got some bullfrogs. Now don't ask me where they came from. There could have been a tadpole possibly in some of the vegetation I brought over to help make this a natural ecosystem. But this actually is my smaller pond and I have a larger pond that I built that I haven't introduced any fish species yet. I did introduce a few different minnow varieties into that little pond but it's always important to allow the insects to develop in a pond before you bring the predators in because what would happen is you just if you put the predators in before you put the prey what happens is the predators will die out and I didn't want that to happen I wanted to make sure I had the mosquito larvas before I had the mosquito minnows it's really important for me that's one way you build an ecosystem and I wanted to be sure that I was doing things in the right sequence I mean minnows didn't grow without water first Oh, and that's my dog, Kong. He's a really cool dog. He's friendly with all of our pets. I mean, him and the chickens get along just fine. Now, you see this little grove of trees. They just naturally grew here from one other tree. It's actually a little grove of uh, persimmons trees. And they do get fruit, and lots of wild animals love them. Now, this is my other pond, my bigger pond. In this pond, I got a free pond liner from somebody who gave it to me on a job I did. And I was super excited. It took me like a year before I built the courage up to actually build the pond. I had looked at it for a while. Oh, and 
yeah this guy loves the pond too but if you notice there's dragonflies flying around and those are some of the insects i'm talking about bringing to your pond you want those insects in there first now these turtles are kind of a lot for this small pond but i didn't feel like they were quite ready just yet to go back into the wild and i kind of admire them and i like looking at them so i was going to let them out here in this small isolated control pond so they can get some natural sunlight and learn how to forage and feed in the wild i mean there's an assortment of native vegetations here and lots of little arthropods and insects they can feed on i wanted them to go into the pond on their own vices so i just lined them all up on the bank and made this pretty cool shot i think so one swam in the water and that was just the beginning obviously but I thought I really needed to add the mosquito minnows now because <laughs> that one just took a tumble. Meat or minnows is a pretty important part of their diet in the wild. Now these turtles have a pretty broad range of diet items and meat is definitely on the menu. However, they're not the best hunters, but they're excellent scavengers. They have no problem finding the turtle pellets that I put or dead and dying diseased fish. And the diseases that affect fish usually don't affect reptiles the same way. But this guy, he's like, whoa, this is way deeper than the little aquarium I was in. He was swimming back up to get some air. You see the dragonfly and the reflection there of the pond. Just another one of those really cool predatory insects that I'm attracting. He's coming up for a breath of air now. And he has plenty of room. There's actually a whole bunch of um, vegetation on the side, on that side, that the turtle can feast on this vegetation for eons and never you know eat it all i was a little concerned they may favor my water lilies on the right side of my pond and now that it's been a few weeks they really have but i wanted to put them in look kong he's just watching these turtles but like i said the minnows were really important i wanted to introduce them as soon as i could so we're on a rescue mission number two last week we got a pretty bad rainstorm and flooded a lot of areas there's a small creek by our shop that overflowed some of the minnows left their creek they usually are in and ended up in this puddle on the side of the road and they were certainly going to die there i was working my best to get as many of these minnows out of that little puddle so that way i could bring them to my pond and save their life and potentially offer a new food source for my baby turtles so it was a win-win essentially they were definitely going to die there and i have no doubt they'll thrive in my little pond i know the turtles won't have very good success catching these little minnows so we brought them over now, if you take a look right here come on up here real close and let's just we'll just slowly release them and what we really want to do is just kind of let them acclimate to the water at an, it should be the same temperature because it's, they're both just air climate so i'm going to slowly release them into the water like this i'm going to put this on fast forward basically we ended up catching about 26 minnows and unfortunately a couple of them didn't quite make it which is totally okay because like i said before those turtles are excellent scavengers they will find those ones that didn't do too good and they will eat them and i will note that several of those minnows were pregnant so i have no doubt that they'll be successful at reproduction in this pond especially with all the native vegetation and if you made it this far you're a trooper i really appreciate it it helps support wildlife conservation and this channel allows me to do more great projects like the turtle project here and i can't wait to see you next time right here in the great outdoors i'm your host alex the florida wildlife guy we'll see you next time peace Man, I really am going to miss those little guys.